In my previous video, we created a secret foldable pocket out of a paper bag. In today's video, we are going to utilize the rest of that paper bag and create this accordion fold pocket with some scrapbooking paper and a little piece of toilet paper roll and cheesecloth to finish it off. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I try to create 10 to 15 minute videos that are succinct and provide you with information in a very direct way, not a lot of chit chat. Hit that subscribe button. Notification bell will let you know when I upload additional content. That's a secret foldable pocket we made last week or uploaded last and this is what we are going to be making today this fold over pocket and let's get started so the first thing we want to do is kind of take some measurements i'm going to pull i've chosen my paper it's a two-sided paper so that will be very easy to work with and i am going to grab that paper bag this is the remainder of what we had we cut that bottom off to create the pocket this is the piece right here that we cut off to create this little foldable pocket. So we're going to set that aside and work with what we have left, which is the bottom of that bag cut off. So we just have the top of that lunch bag. I'm going to fold it in half, and that is what is going to create our accordion fold. Now, the next thing that I want to do is determine how many of these folds I want. So you fold the bag in half and you have two pockets. If you fold two bags in half, you're going to have four pockets, which would make a nice, robust little center for that little fold over journal pocket that we are creating. So let's measure to see how wide this bag is. And then we are going to cut our paper. I like to have about an eighth inch on either side. So we're going to cut the paper just a fourth inch wider than our paper bag. So you can see there how there's just a little bit on each side. I'm going to use this side for my center. And I am going to score this because. We have these four pockets. I would like to have about a one eighth inch depth on the on the fold over on this. So I'm going two inches in scoring and then two and an eighth inches in scoring, and that creates that nice little fold over. So now I'm going to determine about where I want that to fold up, and I'm going to do the same thing, create two score lines right one eighth inch apart. So now see, we fold that over and there's that bag and how it fits in there. So I want to measure the depth of that pocket and just trim this bag down to two times that depth. So if the depth is four inches, I want that bag to be eight. Does that make sense? And you can take your, your measurements. There's no sense in me providing you mine. There's a lot of different size paper bags out there. So you get the picture, right? So there is the two paper bags folded in half, tucked down in there, and that's going to fit very nicely. So the next step that we need to take is inking up these bags. <clears throat> this is optional, something that I like to do. And I'm just using a vintage photo. And I'm going around the outside edges everywhere on that bag that that um, I think that 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 inking will add a little bit of <clears throat> interest, if you will. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now that we have that inked up. Let's just um, move on, get this glued together and ready to go. So I'm measuring half and making my little mark, halfway mark with a little bit of glue, smearing that glue up through the center. And I'm using art glitter glue. It dries really fast. There's no way that's going to come apart. I'll do the same thing to glue the folds together. So we're gluing it together and then we're gluing it to the other, the other bag. 
folded up, if that makes sense. And now we're going to attach it to the inside of the scrapbooking paper that we just scored and, and got into this ready state. So there you have it glued. We'll glue that outside on that and just fold that up. And there you have your little fold over pocket. It's that easy. How simple is that? So now to give it a just a, a little bit of, of uh, finishing, I'm taking the crocodile and cutting a one half inch rounded corner. And we'll ink up the scrapbooking paper as well. And now to decorate the front, I have this uh, toilet paper medallion that I created in another project that was left over because it uh, tore on one side. So I'm pulling that out and I'm going to put that to the edge so I can cut off that torn part, putting a bit of cheesecloth to tuck underneath it. And I have some paper bag from trimming the bag down to the appropriate side. I'm going to lay that down as well. And I have this burlap that I think would look nice as well. So I'm going to pull that piece of burlap and get some burlap strands coming out from underneath that little toilet paper roll medallion. Now that little toilet paper um, medallion was a toilet paper tube that I stuck in my embossing folder and then I just went over it with ink to ink the um, raised part and I think they those turned out to make some really nice little focal points. So I'll trim that off and there you have the front embellished and just some basic twine. I'm going to wrap that around and determine a length then I will glue that twine down. And I'm just going to glue it down with, with that art glitter glue. That always holds it in place nice. But I'm going to add a little dot that will give my other little toilet paper piece, the little heart that I also cut out. From that same toilet paper tube embossed, Tie that up with the twine, trim that twine up, and there is our finished piece. So I think that looks good. What do you think? We'll undo it, take a look, nice little accordion fold, tie that back up. And let's take a look at it with the uh, foldable pocket that we made. So this is the foldable pocket that I made. This is that other little pocket that we just made with the remainder of the paper bag and I think that would look really good tucked down or tucked in the back with the twine so there are the two pieces so this is the piece we just finished Scrapbooking paper. This is that foldable pocket tucked under the twine on the back. There's the two pieces, the back of one and the front of the other. There's the foldable pocket opened up. Video will be linked. And here's the little piece we just finished. And I'll show it to you once again open. And that completes this project. So simple, so easy. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll take a moment to subscribe to my channel. I enjoy you being here. I like your comments. I love to read them and comment back to you. I am hopeful that you will share my channel with others. And hit that thumbs up button. It helps me. Thanks so much for being here. Bye for now.